Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Bumstein here, and I know a lot of you know me now as a Doomhead, but this channel started out as a Dark Souls channel and covering from software games for many years, but uh, I kind of fell out, in fell out of love with those games, and you know, Elden Ring, I'm not too excited for Elden Ring because, I mean, I haven't seen enough of it, so maybe this will make me a believer, so here is going to be my live reaction not that too many people give a fuck about what i have to say about these games anymore but look here uh let's just get into it who knows could be pleasantly surprised and it might reinvigorate my love for uh elden ring is set from software again lands between it looks really good like there's absolutely no denying that point Acting as a place of rest for the player. It's basically your bonfire mechanic, I think. Rays of guiding light. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance or head off to explore in a different direction. I wonder what performance is going to be like because. From software have kind of been hit or miss with their performance, but this looks it looks really good I'll, like graphics wise I'll give it that much it looks really good is this a dynamic are boss fights just completely dynamic or this seems like a just a very dynamic encounter. See, the issue I had with the uh, first trailer they showed off of the game was like, wow, it, it, it literally just looks like Dark Souls 3. And that's kind of been the problem I've had with these games. They've just... I mean, that animation is straight from Dark Souls 3. A lot of them are. But that was kind of the problem I had with the hype surrounding From Software games. They're all just starting to be the same game. That's why I really love Sekiro. Sekiro was... A very similar formula, but it really uh, was its own thing, had its own identity. You just whack him out. <laughs> well played, good sir. Look at the trees well blowing in the wind. <gasps> Mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. I like that guy. He's nice. <laughs> a map. The map can prove useful when exploring the world and is populated by acquiring map fragments. Probably a lot of people won't like the fact there's a map. Because Dark Souls games we can use markers to customize the map. Never had such as maps. Reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. So you kinda had to explore and figure it out for yourself. Although From Software games just really started to become more and more linear. Beacons can also be since Dark Souls to help 1. With but I mean if you Beacons don't like the inclusion the of a map, just don't world. use it. Simply put. The thing that just concerns me is that spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch um, high into the air. 
you know, open world fatigue. It doesn't matter how good an open world game is designed. I personally am really fatigued from playing open world games. But it's from software. It'll be an amazing open world. I mean... Who knows? This is their first crack at it, right? They could get it really wrong. They could just copy other games' formulas. Who knows? So I'm skeptical about it being open world. The carriage over there is carrying treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting. <laughs> Using materials found in the world. The fuck is this phantom pain? Enemy starts can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Enemy stances can be broken, so is it... A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged Is it adopting... Weapons. Sekiro's posture system? Or is it literally just... Guard break? It looks more like just guard break than a posture system. situations we can summon spirits to assist us in battle spirits vary greatly in type so we look forward to players experimenting and finding their personal favorites Is uh, online online multiplayer yeah. can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds, from cooperative to PvP and invasions. Hey! <laughs> Her animation was. I mean, I'm going to say it probably a million times, it's literally just Dark Souls animations reused. Is that a problem in itself? Not necessarily. Deadly creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth but if other detection. games reused, you know, if Ubisoft you reuse animations, they get fucking crucified for it. Absolutely crucified. From Software get a pass for some reason. I mean, if it, if it ain't broke... Don't fix it, I guess, but you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to get at here. There's a bit of bias. Depending on who the company is. We've come across a boss guarding this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. AOE effects look really improved, so. Oh, she's doing the dragon head attack thing from Dark Souls. Honestly, like it just, it just looks like Dark Souls 4. <laughs> uh, I just really don't know what to make of that. I was really spoiled with Sekiro. I love Sekiro so much. But, uh... 
I wish they were kind of moving some of the formula in a different direction, but I don't know, just I'm just looking at Dark Souls 3.1 open world and I, I really don't know how to feel about that. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. These dungeons each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fearsome bosses. Kind of gives Chalice, giving Chalice uh, dungeon vibes. I mean, it all looks polished. It looks super polished. Um... <laughs> uh, looks super polished. Looks, I mean, it looks like a really good, you know, from software game. My gripe is that it just, I don't know, they've kind of been making the same game for over 10 years now. And I really wish, I don't know, I'm really skeptical. As a, from a gameplay perspective, I want a fresh gameplay experience. You know, Sekiro really gave it that uh, fresh gameplay perspective. Greetings, traveler. This is going to be like your uh, firekeeper waifu, I, I guess. I am Melina. I was, about, I, offer you an accord. I was about to say this one oh she uh it's the first time your wife is gonna have like working eyes but then one of our We've her eyes are fucked Stormvale Castle, a large scale and then shan a lot in dark souls 2 she had working region. eyes so she's kind of 50 50. Cool though how the NPCs call out for you. It's easy to miss an NPC encounter. Seems like these guys call out to you first, so it kind of gains your attention. Then you go over and like, hey, what's up? Kinda gives Bolitaria vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the main route seems risky, so we'll try entering through a back way. I'm not sold on the combat. I really wish it had depth. It just seems like R ones should be taken when moving through dungeons and uh, weapon arts again. From when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. This is very Bloodborne-esque. 
that area in Yarnum just before you meet Eileen. And this looks very much like Boletaria. Huh. Okay, now this is interesting. Seems like you can kind of break the level design. Obviously, it's intended to do that, but it seems like you can go off the beaten path. I like that. That that looks that looks quite good. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. I think for me, where the Souls games hold my interest now is exploration. Combat and stuff is kind of more mundane. It's just been the same formula since Demon Souls, and but the exploration for me now is kind of the most interesting part of these games. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters. You know. It's that big hat Logan reference. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. <laughs> what the fuck is that? An eagle <laughs> with swords? It seems like the level design the in these dungeons is really uh, Godric, the where the creativity was probably going to shine versus the open world. It's, it's, I mean, it's hard to have creative open world level design, right? You can have interesting looking areas, but like, it's, it's hard to beat a contained area with interesting uh, level design. Some fucked character design. In a good way. Fuck is that <laughs> crab head man? He was dodging instead of rolling. I wonder if that's a, a lock on versus unlocked thing. Because he's ro he rolled there, I don't know. Maybe it's a weapon art type thing. Thank you for watching. This was just a brief introduction to Elden Ring's fundamentals. Sure. More details will be revealed at a later date. There's not long to go now before release. Uh, so quick and final thoughts because I don't want this video to run on forever. The combat, I'd, uh, I wish there was more innovation in the combat. It just seems more, it just seems like Dark Souls again. Uh, bit more emphasis maybe on weapon arts and summons but uh, yeah it's not going to scratch that new innovative combat itch that Sekiro did for me from what, from what it looks like anyways 
exploration seems like it seems like it'll really scratch that exploration itch. Uh, am I still hyped for Elden Ring? My hype is quite moderate. I wouldn't say this This is a game that I'm absolutely yearning and pining to play. Uh, and it's something I'm going to... I'm not going to pre-order or pick it up. I'm going to wait for a few days after release to get reviews from people I trust and whatnot. And then... Uh, and then consider my purchase. Um, thank you, Cyberpunk, for teaching me to never ever pre-order games ever again. Uh, but yeah, it looks highly polished. It looks like people who are just want another Souls game are going to be really pleased with it. But me, it doesn't really look like what I want out of From Software. Uh, so yeah, sorry if that. I know some people are uh, probably going to be hurt by saying that it's not. I'm not really too hyped yet still for Elden Ring. I'm not, I haven't bought into the hype, but, uh, you know, I, I, I will glad, gladly concede that opinion if the game turns out amazing. And I, I hope it does turn out amazing. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm still remaining quite just, I, I don't even know how to describe. I'm very blasé about it. I've seen this all before, basically, besides the fact that it's just open world now, but I've played a million open world games at this point, so it's not a huge selling factor for me. Uh, I think From Software are a really good developer, but I don't know, they've they're, they're just been reusing the same formula for just too long now, and that's why I fell out of love with a lot of other series, like Assassin's Creed used to be my favorite series of all time, but because they failed to innovate, uh, I just don't care about it anymore. And then once they did innovate, they just w fucking ruined it again. Um, so yeah, I think that's there's there's bias towards From Software. You know, they can release the same game over and over again and put a different name on it and change location, and but it's fundamentally the exact same game you've already played before three or four times, and people don't call them out for it and I've, I've been seeing that now with their games it's like yeah you guys are just <laughs> basically making the same game over and over again and it's a great formula but I'm just personally tired of it and I, I, I wish there was more innovation uh, but I mean that remains to be seen these are just my general uh, opinions at the moment and who knows how the game will turn out but uh, that's going to do it for today and uh if you made it this far, God bless your soul. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.